So let's start off with this one. So this is a tag called male depravity. And I think the thing we should start off with here is uh, there is some pretty heinous stuff on here. Now, some of this stuff is rather over-emotional dribble, which I'm going to get into. Uh, but some of this stuff is pretty terrible. Uh, there was a couple of stories where one one brother actually impregnated his 11-year-old sister. Uh, that was just awful to read. That was terrible to see. There's uh some pretty some pretty heinous things in this tag. And I don't want anyone to think at any point in time I'm going to be defending uh evil or depravity at all. Uh that's not really why I, I want to highlight this video. Uh or I'm sorry, I'm going to highlight this tag. There's two things I want to highlight with this tag. The first thing is its existence and the second thing is its implication. So, my first question when looking at this subreddit, female dating strategies, is why is there a tag to highlight the absolute worst behaviors of males? Some of some of them are just the absolute heinous thing. Now, one thing that's now one thing that's particularly interesting is that it's all sexually focused, meaning it's all males relation to women or how males are treating women right which is obvious you know not only in its solipsism and it is a female subreddit for females but it, it's also a little I, I think peculiar to me that there's such a highlight on this on on any degree of of depravity here if you're if your goal is to try to teach women how to find and date good men. Well, it's not really even good men, but it's like high-valued men. And high-valued men, as far as I can really understand it from reading some of these posts, is just some guy that's basically a simp. And I'll, I'll, I'll prove it to you when, I, when we get to those, those posts. Yeah, we will, we'll get there. But it just does kind of seem like that. It's just kind of, just kind of and, and a handsome simp seems to be what these girls want. But the thing about this is the fact that I imagine the purpose of having this tag of highlighting male depravity is to show women, I guess, how awful men can be to encourage them to avoid these types of behaviors. But some of these behaviors are just so are just so darn terrible. It, it just seems like, isn't this something? Maybe these girls just didn't have parents in their life. Maybe these girls just didn't have friends. These girls didn't have good teachers. Like, this, this, this... This would only exist for someone so naive and foolish as to not understand that evil is a force in this world and that bad people exist. Like the idea that you would need to have an entire tag or even need to post and say, hey, look at these terrible men. It just seemed to me that this is more just for circle jerking and just moral aggrandizing. You're, you're just trying to say, look at all these terrible men, we women are better because some of this stuff is just so awful and heinous it's like why would anyone interact with this human being anyway if not for some kind of dire strait if not for something going on here and that's usually the case there's usually like something going on here now some of these posts are just so laughably dumb to be considered as like depravity that i just kind of want to highlight just how like oversensitive some of these girls are like some of this stuff is just oversensitive and some of this stuff is just not you know correct you know um here here's a good one actually right here my co-worker 44 year old male who i view as a father just confessed his attraction to me and she's a 22 year old female so he's literally half her age or, or he's twice her age as the title said i had a very father slash daughter dynamic with this man for the past year of working together he knows that I view him as a father, especially because he reminds me of my actual dad. Over the past week, he's been acting very weird towards me, but I assumed issues outside of work were affecting him. There were a few middle-aged men at work who had relationships with the, with the college students where we work, and we would joke about how nasty those relationships are. Then yesterday, he said that he needed to talk to me in private, and then he confesses his attraction to me. I was taken aback and feel betrayed. He made it seem like it was our problem, 
but I really think it's just his. Uh, I mean, I'm confused by... The, the reason why I paused, by the way, if you're confused, was the fact that she put, in quote, our problem. Because, I mean, it is, it is between the two of them. I, I don't know. Unless she's trying to imply that... She, unless she's trying to say that she isn't attracted to him, maybe that's what she's trying to imply. I don't know. That's why I was just kind of a little confused. I'm confused by a sudden switch from work dad who wanted to protect the younger ones from the gross men to becoming one of them himself. Now, this is really interesting. The fact that she decides to call these men gross for being attracted to 22-year-old girls. Now, I'm of the mindset of, of looking at ages relatively. And and that being said, like if I look at trying to date adult girls, I think about like how old they would be if I was... You know, at their age, right? So, like, if I meet a girl who's, like, 18 and I'm I'm 24, I'm like, how old was I when I was 18? I mean, like, how old was she when I was 18? And if she's in any teenage framework in that time, like, I just don't want to have anything to do with that. Now, that's just me. The reason why is not only just generational gap, you know, but it just, it does make me feel a little uncomfortable dating someone who's, like, a little younger than me. I, I, I want to, you know, mold people who are younger than me and have people who are my age be with me as a life partner, you know what I mean? So that's just me. I can understand anyone who doesn't like age gaps. I, 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 I'm not knocking her for disliking age gaps, but the thing that's peculiar to me is the fact that we, we are still talking about two adults here, and there isn't anything gross about recognizing an attraction to an adult woman, because she is an adult. Now, granted, when he was 22, she didn't exist. Like, that's true. Like, if you're looking at my relative kind of thing that I do personally, sure, she doesn't exist. But for him to be an adult male who's 44, like, it, it's not gross to find a woman attractive. Like, this is what's peculiar. She's literally shaming the literal existence of sexual attraction as being gross. Like, he can control it. Like, he can do anything about that. He's shaming it. Now, this is what's really peculiar to me. It's the fact that she can so easily shame this male, but if I were to do this to a homosexual, I can't. That, that, that's, that, but that's the reality, though. I cannot do this to a homosexual. I cannot. I remember one time, and this is this really happened to me. This is back when I was in high school. I made a post where um, I said, so the other day a gay guy checked me out. I don't know if I should be offended because he was gay or if it's because he objectified me. That was clearly a joke, right? And so many people jumped down my throat because I, I, cause I made that joke saying that it was wrong for me to highlight the fact that he was gay or whatever. I don't even remember what they were saying. I just, I told them that they can go kick rocks because I was like, like, dude, it's a joke. Shut up. It, I couldn't even joke. And this was, this was back in, uh, shoot, this was like 2010, dude. This is 10 years ago. Um, and you couldn't make those kind of jokes about gay people. Imagine trying, look at what happened with Kevin Hart, dude. You know what I mean? You can't even do it now. The whole point that I'm saying this, though, is the fact that, like, male sexuality is shamed for its mere existence. Now, don't get me wrong. I can understand being a little taken aback. This guy is twice your age. But here's another thing that's kind of silly. Notice that you have college students, other girls, who are 100% dating men who are the same age. Because the truth of the matter is, you will have women. Here's the thing with a lot of women and their attraction to males. Because their attraction to males is very, very different from males' attraction to women. Because she is a woman, she is attractive. You know, she her being 22, that's not really even the thing. It's not that she's young, it's that she's an adult woman, right? But women will look at older guys because they have more resources and they're established more. And they will 100% and gladly try to use those guys or even take advantage of those guys and whatnot. So, excuse me. the point of highlighting this is to say that his sexuality is very, very, very natural. But a woman's sexuality in this type of situation is very predatory. Now, how do I defend that? You say, well, wouldn't they both be predatory? Well, not necessarily. The reason why I would say a male isn't predatory in that situation is because it's not the age. It's not him trying to take advantage of anything. It's not him leveraging anything. It's him simply being attracted to what she is. Now, there might be some context here. You could Now, if it is because she's young, you would have to add that context in there, right? But for the woman, you know, her attraction to the male who's older is his resources. She wants his things. She wants to use him to get to his things or to get to his money so he can buy her things. 
So she's not looking at him as a person. She's looking at his resources. So he's not even a factor there, right? Well, I guess he's technically the factor, and so he's the middleman between her and the resource. So the reason why I want to highlight this stuff is to say, as easily as I could, as I just did, shame female sexuality for not even being interested in the male but wanting his resources, I don't go on and making posts and highlighting this and feeling uncomfortable and whatnot. You want to know why? Because they're adults. They get to choose what they want to do. Like the fact that she's calling him gross because he's just being normal. I mean, it's unf I, I don't know. Like what is he supposed to do? Just not be attracted to you anymore? If I said that to a homosexual, you guys would lose your minds. I do not want to go to HR about it because I don't think he'll make any more advances after I... Why would you even? The nigga said that he found you attractive. Why would you even, like, consider, hey, I don't know, whatever. Oh, I mean, she's not going. But the fact that she even has to, like, clarify, like, I don't know. It, like, this is, this is silliness to me, honestly. And this is what I mean. She's calling this... This is in the same tag as a brother impregnating... His little sister, that is disgu that is 100% disgusting. But somehow she's putting this in the same category as that tag. And, and here's the thing, there's some, there's some real heinous stuff in here. Here's the thing. In Sweden, a woman is killed by a current or former partner every three weeks. In England, it's two women every week. In Australia, one woman every week. In the U.S., three women are killed every day. So this is actually a response to another one. Let's see. Let's see what she was responding to. There is no likelihood a woman somewhere in the UK who bought a present this week for a man who will kill her this Christmas. Oh, okay. So that's the reality of domestic violence. Look around you. Listen out for these women. Hear them. Now, here's the thing. Number one, domestic violence happens to both males and females. As to why you would only put this hyper focus on females is incredibly sexist, by the way. But of course, feminism will have nothing to do with that. But more than that, here's the thing that kind of gets me about this one. These women picked these men. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on my, my incel fedora here and, and have to ask the critical question. If women are so adept at sensing the awful, terrible misogyny of incels, surely they could have sensed the evilness that was in the male that would kill them. Now, here's the thing. Domestic violence and whatnot is a lot more complex than that, okay? Like, incredibly more complex than that. And it would be kind of stupid for me. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm only joking. But it is funny to me that we're going to try to take this element here, right? And this is awful. This is terrible. It's not a good thing. But there has to be a recognition of people picking these partners. That this is what they wanted. And... Unless there was some manipulation going on there, what is this going to do for anyone? How can we help these women who are selecting these partners? Now, the only thing we can really do is educate them and try to get them away from this stuff long before they get emotionally invested in these bad relationships so they can understand how abuse starts and whatnot. 100% great thing. But this is just fear-mongering. You're saying in the U.S. women are killed every day. People die in general every day. It's not even just the hyper focus of like female deaths are, I guess, special for some reason. Um, everyone dies every single day. Now the highlight here is you say women are killed by their men are killed by their partners too. That can happen one hundred percent. Why is there no focus or highlight there? Like we already know why. But the reason why I want to look at this one is again, while this is one hundred percent awful and heinous and it's not <laughs> obviously this is not good. It's really important to say that highlighting this only does so much because people are picking the ones they want to be in relationships with. You have to educate people out of these awful relationships. Otherwise, it's, it's never going to get better. Simply saying, oh, women get killed by, by, by the men they're supposed to love. I, well, I mean, if they love these, these evil men, like what are we supposed to do? That's, that's, that is up to them. They have to make the decision and choice to get out of that relationship themselves. And the thing about it is, once again, domestic violence is very seldom ever that dry where just one party is being abused. Usually it's the two people together who are toxic. And males physically deal more damage than women because they're bigger and stronger, but it's very seldom ever one person's just being another person. But here's the thing. No matter what, even though it's seldom, even though that's not the case, obviously, hopefully no one misinterprets this, Obviously, it's bad. Like, come on, guys. Like, obviously, it's terrible. No matter what, male, female, it's, it's not a good thing. 
So here's another one. And I think this will be the last one in the video today. And then um, I'll do a couple more in the future. But <laughs> this one is just stupid. Am I the asshole for complimenting a new girl's appearance at work? I, 24-year-old male, work at a small tech company that's mostly male. Last week, we had a new girl join. I tried to be as nice as possible and make people fit in. I gave her a tour of the office, told her about her roles and projects we were working on, introduced her to the other staff, etc. I casually told her that I liked her eyes. They were blue. She said, thanks, and that was mostly it. The real issue comes later on. Our group was having a meeting around five people all together. A new girl was in on it, and she actually made an insightful comment about the project that impressed me. I looked at the other guys and said, wow, she's smart and cute. The other guys laughed, but I followed up with, but that's a great point. Thanks for bringing that up. And to her, to her, and we moved on. Later, a higher up told me she complained about me because of my comment and asked me to refrain from making those comments in the future. I was genuinely confused because I wasn't insulting her and thought that she'd be a great addition to the team. That's why I made this post. I did tell the other guys at work that she com she complained about my comment and they all sided with me that it was all lighthearted. One of them even said that if she's going to be a buzzkill to not include her to go out after work for happy hours or other events. Now, of course, if I was uh, a student of the black pill, the issue here was just that the nigga was ugly. <laughs> that is, I, I'm not, I don't know. Uh, the black, I, my feelings on the black pill are, are a bit mixed. I'll talk about them in the future. But, again, this is a post that was included in the same tag as domestic violence men killing people. Like, male depravity. What is depraved about this guy saying that she's cute and smart? Now, maybe the girl could assume that he was being condescending. That uh, that that he should have already assumed that she was intelligent because she was working on the team. Even if that were the case, even if she can make that leap, even if she could, why is she complaining about it? She's a grown ass woman. Why couldn't she just say to the young man, "Yeah, man, I didn't appreciate the comment." Even if it was like, even if it, we, it's not even all, it's not even all that serious. It's just a joke. Just her her sensitivity is its own thing, which is just interesting to me how sensitive she was. But here's the thing that's important. This is considered depraved behavior on female dating strategies. Someone, someone looked at this and posted this up and said, this is an example of how depraved men are because men made a small comment. This is on the same tag as, like I say, like, of, like incest. Like this, like, 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 they're using the same tag to talk about incest in murder. This light, innocuous comment is in, is in the same stream as, 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 as child molesters and child trafficking and all that. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> but in conclusion, here's the thing. Here's what I want to say. And, and I'll look at more of these posts in the future. In conclusion, I want to say this. This tag here seems to me to exist for next to no reason but to morally grandstand about how great women are and just to shame and debase men. They, they just want to attack men. They just want to be angry at men because they've been hurt, I'm, I assume. Something must have happened to them. Um, but the thing that really gets me the most is how some of this stuff is so innocuous. Some of this stuff is, is just natural that it, they're, they're really attacking males at their core, and that is being sexually attracted to women. These women are literally upset at males being attracted to women sexually. And some of these women are right about some of this behavior. Some of this behavior is abhorrent, 100%. You guys can go look at this subreddit. You guys can see that there's a lot. Um, I don't want to include the worst stuff, mostly just YouTube advertiser content. I mean, even just some of the stuff I said here is probably going to already get the video limited. Um, but, but if I could, if this was YouTube back in 2014, I'd show you guys, but it's not. Um, but the point is, like, like evil is a force in this world. I'm going to say, you guys are probably sick and tired of me saying this. I'm going to say this forever because I have to keep saying this. But evil is a force in this world. It is silly to try to associate evil behavior with being male or being masculine or being sexual. You can use sexuality to be evil and be cruel and hurt people. You can use it, okay? And it's unfortunate and it's sad, but you can't make an association with maledom and male sexuality as cruelty or as evil or as disgusting. 
because now you're taking something that is natural and beautiful. Because listen, males are also a part of making human beings. They, we're not evil creatures for wanting to have sex with women. Now, some men are evil, and they use that for evil. But that's the thing. That should be the focus. And that is what is upsetting to me about this nonsense here. Not only are they taking some of the most innocuous stuff and just blowing it out of proportion and slamming it up against like <laughs> the most depraved things ever, but they're also taking what is natural about males wanting to be with women and turning it into something disgusting when it really isn't. So that being said, I just hope you guys got something out to this video. And if you did, man, go ahead and click the like button. Yeah, shoot, go and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below. And as always, you guys have yourselves a great day. I'll see you cool cats soon. Adios.